So now I want to introduce some more complex ending to compounds um, that you might come across. For example, we've got SO4, which is called sulfate, CO3, which is called carbonate, NO3, which is called nitrate, and OH, which is called hydroxide. So you might see these endings on different compound names. For example, if you saw BESO4, you would name the metal and then the second word would be sulfate if you wanted to name the compound. So this one, because BE stands for beryllium, this compound would be called beryllium sulfate. You might see that F as a PH written down, but now we've moved to spelling it like the rest of the world with an F instead of PH. For an example, for a carbonate, you might see something like CA, CO3. Look that bit up in the periodic table. That is the atomic symbol for calcium. So this compound is called calcium carbonate. For nitrate, for example, if you had Li, NO3, you look up the Li in the periodic table, that stands for lithium, and the last word would be nitrate. An example for a hydroxide, again if we use lithium, we know that's lithium from the periodic table, and the final part is OH, which means hydroxide. Now try yourself naming each of these examples below. You will need a periodic table to help you find out what the name of the first element in the compound is. Pause the video now. So if you'd looked up this one, you'd have to look up the calcium, the CA, you'd find that was calcium, and the second word would be sulfate. So you'd write down calcium sulfate. Here, Li stands for lithium, so that would be lithium sulfate. Mg stands for magnesium, so that would be magnesium sulfate. For the carbonates, we've got Na, so this one is sodium carbonate. K. 2CO3, so that's potassium carbonate, CaCO3, so that's calcium carbonate. Moving on to our nitrates, we've got Na, so that's sodium nitrate, KNO3, so that's potassium nitrate, LiNO3, so that would be lithium nitrate, and finally the hydroxides, we'd have potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, And finally, lithium hydroxide. Well done if you've named all those compounds correctly.